Good morning and welcome to SNN. It's Thursday, October 15th, 2014. It's a hawk day, which means star periods 2, 4, and 6. What book, online or not, gives you the spelling of a word, the origins of a word, the meanings of a word, derivatives of a word, for example, the root plus any added suffixes, the history of a word, the part of speech of a word, the abbreviation, and the capitalization of a word, the syllable divisions, the pronunciation, the synonyms and antonyms for a word. But wait, there's more. This phenomenal book also tells you how to spell any irregular forms of a word, such as plurals or past tenses of verbs. Don't touch your phones. It's not the phone in question. Word lovers, today is dictionary day. Paradigm. Conundrum. Oxymoron. Ubiquitous. Omnipresent. Bastion. Em ep ep epiphany. Serendipity. Encephalopathy. Pedantic. Eclectic. Hubris. Egregious. And acronym are among the most looked up words online. Marion Webster even has a list you can see every day like this. October 16th is the birthday of Noah Webster. Does that name sound familiar? It should. Webster Dictionary. Celebrate Dictionary Day by learning some new words. Give your vocabulary a test. Please hold with us. We're experiencing <laughs> some script changes and technical difficulties. Sharpen your dictionary skills or even create your own dictionary. With a dictionary, you're never at a loss for words. One week from today, we're putting on the orange. That means we're wearing orange. October 22nd is Unity Day. Unite against bullying. Calling any and all orange. Let's orange it up. Come on, the whole school. Let's unite against bullying. It's happening in schools all across the country, and we'll be a part of it. Take a stand and unite against bullying. October is National Bullying Prevention Month. The mission is to encourage communities to work together to stop bullying. And cyberbullying. By increasing awareness. Yesterday, you told us that on page 5 and 6 in the planner, we could find information about bullying. Now, we want to know the steps. Call 78293 and tell us the three steps. In sports news, volleyball season is almost here. Volleyball tryouts start on Monday the 20th. Wrestling starts too. If you signed on the SNN wall in the hall but did not complete an application, well, you won't be considered. SNN applications are due Friday by 3 p.m. Picture retakes are coming up on Tuesday. You need to turn in your old picture packet. And late starts are coming up next week. October 22nd and 23rd are late start days. At SNN, we received several emails about a student. We'd like to join the chorus and sing the praises of Skyhawk Janessa Wilson. Cheers Woo! for you and Pick all your train. effort on Pick Tuesday's train. assembly Pick with our train. Japanese visitors. We didn't have much time to prepare you, but you, Janessa, you really made it look easy. Mr. Strawn said, and I quote, I approached Janessa last Thursday, four days before the event, about completing this task, and she didn't even hesitate. Despite a few language and logistical challenges, this Skyhawk leader pr pers persevered, 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 worked through the weekend and put together an amazing assembly that paid tribute and honor to our visitors. She planned and implemented the entire event, and for that, I believe she deserves some public recognition for a job well done. We are super proud of you, Janessa. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, on the calendar, we oh, noticed no. oh, sorry. that no, this Saturday, there's a football extravaganza at Doc Carroll Stadium. Stop. Mr. Williams. Now, there's Mr. Williams. Good morning. I would like to second that. Janessa did a great job. We kind of gave it to her at the very last minute, as Mr. Strawn said. We kind of said, uh, actually, I went to Mr. Strawn and said, by the way, we need an assembly for Tuesday. And he went, oh. And then we handed it to Jan Janessa, and she just ran with it and did a great job. So I would second that big shout out to Janessa. So great job. All right. The other reason that I'm here today is because today is, you probably didn't know this, but today is, what is it called? National Shakeout Day or something like that. Oh. So, what that means is that the whole state of Washington is having an earthquake drill today. Doesn't that sound like fun? Yeah. 
So at some <laughs> point in time to shake it up. What was that look for? <laughs> <laughs> so at some point in time today, we will have an earthquake drill. So I will come on the overhead and basically say at this time we're going to practice our earthquake drill. Remember that's drop, cover, and hold. So the idea is to drop down to the floor, get under something, and then kind of hold the back of your head or hold on to whatever you're under. So if you were at this table. So if I were at this table, Miss Pappas, Miss Pappas is going to make me crawl under this table. If I were at this table, then I would get under the table like so. Oh, very good. <laughs> and I would hold on to the table <laughs> because if the ground is shaking, the table might move away from you. So the idea is to hold on to it so that it always stays over the top of you. Thank you, Miss Pappas. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're a good. All sport. right. All right. So sometime today, you will hear that over the intercom, and then we'll practice that drill. Okay. Miss Pappas, I think. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With that, I'm going to turn it back over to our anchors. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Williams. <laughs> Lastly, on the calendar, we noticed that this Saturday there's a football extravaganza at Doc Care Stadium starting at 9 in the morning. <laughs> Show some canvas pride and get out there and cheer. It's supposed to be nice. How about the phone-in? The answer? First, recognize the bullying. S next, refuse and tell the person to stop and that their action is unwanted. And finally, report the incident to an adult in the school. Please consider joining forces against bullying and wear orange next Wednesday, the 22nd. We didn't really get an answer for this oh, one. Oh, we did. Sorry. Oh, Actually, breaking news. Uh, good job to Josh Dalton and Shane from Mrs. Smith's class. Ooh. A treat and fake cash is coming your way after the show. And that is the news for Skyridge Middle School. Where everybody belongs. Our thought for today is the only place success comes before work. In the dictionary. Remember to follow the Sky Code. Be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. This has been Tara and Emma. Have a logophile sort of Tuesday. That's in the dictionary, you know. A logophile is someone who loves words. At this time, please stand for the